The chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is accompanied by other management teams of the commission to this meeting with the leadership of the National Union of Road Transport Workers to put some finishing torches to the logistics arrangement for the 2023 general elections. INEC had, in December last year, signed an agreement with the unions of road transport workers and owners to deliver election materials and personnel during the exercise. This meeting is to cross the T's and dot the I's, as the electoral umpire says no excuse will be tolerated anymore. The time has come to stop all excuses and provide effective logistics to ensure a huge free arrangement for the 2023 general elections. Nigerians should not wait for the arrival of personnel and materials at the polling units. Rather, we should be there waiting for the arrival of voters. The ongoing fuel scarcity across the country is another source of concern for INEC, as the chairman promises to meet the leadership of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited and how to resolve the problem. The Commission shares your concern about the fuel situation in the country and its impact on transportation on Election Day. For this reason, the Commission will this afternoon meet with the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited to look into ways to ameliorate this situation. Logistics is a critical component of election preparation in Nigeria. And having been engaged in the past for similar arrangements, the National Union of Road Transport Workers assures the Commission that they'll play their part. All seven states, all six states, including Abuja, are here today. The chairman, secretary, treasurer of various states are present here today. And I always promise you, by the grace of God, and support our members across states, we will not disappoint Nigeria. Transportation of election materials and personnel to voting point on election day is a huge task that INEC has struggled with in all previous elections. However, the Commission says it will face this challenge squarely.